All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss uh, basically an application involving uh, derivatives and look at the example of linear density. Basically, derivatives can be uh, viewed as rate of change, and you can see that more on that in the video links below. Uh, basically, linear density is defined as the mass per unit length, and is usually defined. Uh, yeah, and it usually involves the units uh, kilograms per meter, and basically you would write it out as uh, rho, this Greek symbol usually used for density, so it's called rho, and so uh, so density here, rho equals 2 mass divided by length. So this is the definition of linear density, so what it's saying is that uh, basically as you go across, let's say for example a rod or a piece of water, this illustrates the concept of linear density pretty well. So if you have, if you have a rod like this, depending on if it's uniform or not the density this density a uh, linear density just states how much uh, how how dense is it varying across this uh, rod here for uh, uniform rods if this is uniform then basically uh, let's just draw let's say a line like this x so if we have x like this so for example if if you were to go yeah go something like this if this is the uh, this this length x right here then for a uniform rod, if, if, it's a, if it's uniform, then the density or linear density is constant right here. So basically this is constant, and we'll just write it as a C. And basically the mass of this section of the rod would just be, well, mass would just equal to density times length right now. So basically rho times, in this case, x, if the total thing is L. So basically, you'll have this, but in this case, it'll just be c times x. So you'll just have a constant times it, and uh, this is pretty pretty straightforward. It, whatever you have here, as long as you know the density, you could just quickly multiply by however long it is if it's uniform. But let's say you had something like, uh, let's say at this point, it's uh, x1. We'll call this at x2. So basically, let's say it's not uniform. So if it's not uniform, so yeah, so I'll write that down. If the linear density is not uniform, then basically uh, the function for mass, in this case, m equals to uh, just a constant, oh, it just uh, times it by x, so you have a constant one, this is mass. Then if it's not uniform, we'll have m equals to, well, f of x, and this is not it's not going to be this. It's not going to be a constant times x right here. So we, we need to find out what the linear density is. So once again, in this case, it's still going to be rho times x, but now it's not a constant. So in to find out what this is, basically, yeah, basically we'll first have to look at the average density. If we look at from, the, if, let's say if we want to consider this uh, range right here, so this delta x. So if if uh, this from here to here from the left side all the way to x if this has a mass m equals to fx then the delta mass uh, or basically the mass of this rod right here we could also write it down like this delta m right here so this delta m would just be well delta mass or the mass of that section is going to be mass of uh, basically x2 minus mass at x1 yeah x1 right here or we'll just write it as f of x2 minus f of x1 and this bracket right there and basically uh, delta x is just equal to well x2 minus x1 so then the linear density or the average linear density we'll call this rho average would just equal to well delta m over delta x. So it's average from x2 to x1. So I'll just write x2 to x1. Because remember, it's going to be different for whatever section you're looking at. But but now if you are basically, if you go make the difference of this delta x go to 0, so as it's approaching 0, this is basically the idea of a limit, then you're getting really, really small, then basically that you will approach the actual density at that point. So rho is equal to limit as x as delta x this is this is just another way of writing the definition of derivative of delta m over delta x or this equals to also limit as delta x goes to zero of the average linear density or then this finally you could you could write this down as the derivative dm over dx uh, yeah dx so the basically 
the density, linear density is the derivative of the mass in terms, uh, yeah, uh, of the mass in terms of the, uh, of the length right here. So dm over dx right here. So this brings us to, let's say if we wanted to solve an example. So example right here. So yeah, so basically the example I want to go over is this, uh, find the average density for a rod basically between the, this length right here, or this segment uh, where x is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 1.2 meters. That's so basically this is the average linear density uh, and then find the linear density at x equals 1 meters if the mass is given by uh, this function right here, m equals 2 f of x equals square root of x right here. So to find the average linear density, well, we just write down uh, this this right here, uh, this uh, row average or AVG just for uh, short for average uh, from this is from again, and I'll just write out so basically from 1.2 to 1 to 1. This equals 2 m 1.2 minus m 1 all divided by well 1.2 or x uh, x2 minus x1, so 1, then this is going to be equal to square root 1.2 minus square root of 1, that's just 1, divided by 0 0.2, just plug this into the calculator, I'm not going to do that, uh, you will get 0.48, again I'll just write the masses in uh, kg or kilograms, so we'll have 0.48 kilograms per uh, meter right here. So this is the linear density, uh, the average linear density from this segment. But if you wanted to get the exact linear density at the starting point of x equals 1 meters, we will have to find derivative. So basically rho of x of, in general is going to be equal to, well, the derivative of this or d square root x dx and then basically this one here, you could write it as dx1 over 2 and then apply the power rule. I'm just going this in a, showing this in a more complete way just for those that don't know this at the top of their head. So basically you bring down the 1 over 2 and then you'll have x minus or, or x1 over 2 minus 1 over 1 or 2 over 2. And then this will be basically 1 over 2 x negative 1 over 2 or write it as x uh, base equals to uh, x divided by 2, actually I mean 1 divided by 2 square root of x. So this is the same thing as here. So we'll have this part right here, then now if we want to find at 1, so we just plug that in. So uh, density at 1, we'll just plug that in, 1 over 2 square root 1, square root of 1 is 1. So we'll have 1 over 2 or 0 0.50 uh, kg per meter. So as you can see, the average is pretty close, 0.48. As you can see, it kind of tapers off. It's becoming less dense uh, as you go further because, well, this is a square root function, so it would look something like this. So initially, it's increasing density, then all of a sudden, the, it, it is dropping off. It's not increasing as much. Yeah, actually, I mean, this is the, the mass would be like this, and this is 1 divided by it, so it's going to be something like this. So you're decreasing. So this would be the, your row. So your density is decreasing as your mass, as you see from when you go right to left, it's it's getting less and less increasing. So basically, yeah, you'll have uh, this one here is going down and down. So density is going to be decreasing. Well, anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this uh, video just to basically how to uh, use the derivatives in in just random uh, applications, like in this case, linear density. Well, anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned. And remember, you can download these exact notes uh, in the Dropbox link below. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.